Welcome back to Varishi. We are here with the Czechoslovak headquarters company, just having a seat, of course, enjoying some vodka and a nice cigar. Now, we're going to be continuing the campaign here of the Czechoslovak army, of course. If you haven't seen the first part of the campaign, I'm putting it in the upper right-hand corner of this video so that you can go take a look. Um, now, we've got a lot that needs to be done, but the most important thing for me, at least, is getting on this highway and descending southward so that we are essentially encircling these NATO forces. You can see that they've got quite a few tanks over here, and they've also got some headquarters position in this area. I absolutely want to get to that. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do a deliberate movement with some of these rifle companies. Um, they do have RPGs, things of that nature, so I think they'll actually do quite well here. Um, over here, this guy is speeding towards the enemy. That's just going to get him completely destroyed. So we're actually going to hold on this side of the bridge. I think that's somewhat acceptable. Um, and we'll bring the rest of these units forward. I'm actually going to hold them right there. Um, as you can see, I'm also moving these armored cars into the actual woods. Uh, this way, hopefully, they can avoid any fire from the enemy armor. I doubt it, though. I'm also going to be taking my other um, tank units, guys, and we're going to deliberately move over here uh, and then actually head south in an effort to, of course, um, try and flank the enemy and do some damage that way. I'll do the same even with our um, mechanized and motorized units. We'll just go ahead and bring them here kind of behind the enemy. I think it's the most effective uh, approach, and hopefully it's going to... Um, going to end in a victory now one thing that could happen the enemy could have tanks in the forest here and be prepared to ambush us that's the reason i'm sending in those mechanized units and the cavalry units um the recon unit i should say just to make absolutely sure that that's not going to happen now i also want to make sure to fire these spas and i'm pretty sure they're both targeting the location we want them to that's right every single one of the spas is targeting the tank i'm actually also going to be bringing this mrb uh, let's get him, like, right over here in the town. I think this is probably the safest location for him. So we're going to move the MRB over here and hopefully screen sufficiently um, to do a lot of damage to the enemy. Now, last I recall here, let's take a look. We did have some air units, didn't we? I thought we did. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of a previous fight. Uh, that's right. Nope, we're playing as the checks. We don't have anything. Let's go ahead and proceed. Kafka would be proud. Let's go, boys. So of course, that MRB got devastated there um, because those tanks can spawn just about anything, and they've got quite a few of them. It looks like leopard tanks back over here. Four leopard tanks just in that one position, guys. All right, a weather update. Um, it's overcast, but the illumination's pretty good. And again, they are hitting our positions here very, very hard. Returning fire with ATGMs, it looks like. I mean, even if we can knock out one of these leopards, that would be fantastic. Come on, boys. It's one mech rifle uh, unit destroyed, unfortunately, or group, really. Um... But I'm just hoping that someone gets a lucky shot. Again, that's another chance for a lucky shot to try to take out the Leopards. And at this point, NATO is bombarding Dorflas, uh, or Southern Markvedvitz, um, continuously with artillery. Because they know we're trying to cross there. And it looks like they may have knocked out one of the T3 of the T55s. However, we knocked out one of the Leopards. Not quite a lot, of course, but we do have, we don't have the best tanks, let's be honest here. We're also continuing to bring in artillery fire on those existing leopards, and I think we're just going to have to rush the area, essentially. There's another artillery strike. Hoping this one is extremely effective. Another one, and guys, this is 30 rounds with each strike. We are not just hitting this area, we are flooding it. And look at that, we destroyed all the tanks there with a lucky artillery strike. Sometimes that'll happen and all of those leopards are destroyed. We're even bringing in another barrage, why not? Um, next time, we're gonna focus our barrages on the enemy HQ. But I believe we're gonna be moving into that area this turn. Also launching anti-tank guided missiles against this rat attack. Uh, TPZ Fuchs, I believe this is a recon unit, but hopefully somebody can let us know in the comments. I like that we are getting to that point. I don't like that they still have an armored unit, a leopard, up there on that hill in a wooded area. So what I'll likely do... 
uh, is actually calling some art artillery strikes directly there. And as you can see, we're still just bombarding and saturating this area with artillery. There we go. I think we got them, guys. Tremendous uh, gunning by our Czech tanks. They managed to destroy that leopard um, up there, which is just fantastic. Saves us a whole lot of work. Of course, I do need to try and locate their um, HQ. So I'm going to see if I can find that. I feel really bad for the bolts in that location. There is just not a single building left. There's no way. So we've even got um, actual on-the-ground mortars um, striking that area too. Just to make absolutely certain. Unfortunately, we lost a Vidra, and that's actually just from enemy artillery fire. At this point, it really is turning into just an artillery battle. Um, and, I mean, the amount of rounds we've expended is pretty insane. There we go, guys. Managed to get one of them with an ATGM launch, and I believe that was that, that um, recon vehicle we just saw in the area. And at this point, I'm going to converge completely on that location. Look at that wonderful star right there, of course, denoting Soviet capture. Now, if you guys enjoyed this campaign um, and you want to see more, you want me to continue it, I would ask you to please like and leave a comment down below. I don't care what the comment is, if it's pro-NATO, pro-Soviet, uh, whatever, or just talking about what kind of day you had. But those comments really, really help this channel, guys, uh, and really make me want to upload on a more regular basis. Wings of Redemption asks you for money. I ask you for your comments. <laughs> All right. I like this. So far, so good, man. I think, who knows? This might be already leading to a victory. We got all of our HQs back here. Um, I could actually move these a bit f closer. So I'm going to actually start moving our HQ units forward. Make sure that they can, of course, um, provide support to the existing units. Let's screen. Same over here. I'm going to get this guy to Brandt. And so we'll keep our HQs on the other side of the river. Of course, they could still be in range of artillery. And let's just have them on call. Um, so all of our already, we're still going to have, we're just going to have them on call. Uh, and we can also do counter barrage. So, or counter battery. So if we take shots from enemy artillery, uh, we will return fire at that same artillery. That being said, I don't think we're going to have to do it, but you can see our range is quite extensive, guys. So here we go. Um, I'm actually going to hold with these units. I'm going to take our mechanized forces, and we are going to send them to screen. I want to take a closer look here. Let's see, subunit inspector. So let's take a look here. Um, BVPs, mech 9 mechanized rifle, 30 millimeter AGS, and these are BVP-2's tracked IFVs. Of course, they've got men inside. So pretty interesting little vehicle there. Of course, if it gets hit by an enemy tank, it's going to blow up into pieces. I mean, there's just no other way around that. But we can try and avoid that as best we can. I'm also going to leave that tank right there. I'm not going to move him because he's actually on an elevated position. So I think this might be a pretty useful position. But I will take this tank. And I am going to move hastily over to that same zone. Sorry. There we go. Um, and as for the rest of these uh, units, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to move hastily to the edge of town. So all of these um, infantry units that we've got here, these mechanized units, we're going to get them to the edge of town there so they can be of use. This guy's going to be pushing over there. We can go a little bit farther, and we're even going to push through all the way. That's right. These guys are going to be the sacrificial lambs to check if that area is clear. There's another unit here, and I, I was trying to discover what sort of unit this was before... 30 destroyed in that unit, man. So that's a BVP-2 mechanized rifle company. I just love the amount of detail that this game has. And look at this. We can actually look at the subunits. Just fantastic, man. It really is. Um, I'm going to take them. And we are going to move hastily into this wooded area, of course. So we've got a lot of other units that are just kind of out here. Um, I'm trying to get some of them into the woods. Some of them, of course, are going into the Marakadvitz area. So let's go ahead and do a deliberate movement with this one right there into those woods. I don't think we have to worry too much about the tank because he's going to continue his push 
Uh, and as for these um, recon and infantry units, I am going to continue their push, kind of getting to the edge of the forest there. I was kind of hoping they would just go like through, but I think maybe if we do deliberate movement, that would happen. Not so sure now, because now we're kind of exposing ourselves a bit. Not that kind of exposing yourself. Uh, and that battery is also almost at location. All right, guys, I'm going to call it. Let's go. Looks like more of those enemy recon vehicles, or maybe anti-air vehicles. They almost look like legit logi vehicles, like logistics vehicles, um, giving recon information, etc. The Fuchs Ratak. And they're actually putting up a fight against our infantry there. There we go. Got some movement across that map. They're striking directly on that victory point position, which is a good call. They, I mean, they would expect us to have some units there, but of course, we've simply put up the flag and gotten the hell out of there as quickly as possible. You can see we got some hidden enemy units in the forest still. I was worried about that. And right there, four Jaguars 1A3s. Hoping our tank can spot it. If not, maybe our infantry. And they just hit our tank there, knocking out two of them. They're going to get another hit there. That's definitely an anti-tank unit of some sort. Not familiar with that one. And there we go. Our infantry are awfully close. Of course, getting a counterattack here. Lots of mech rifles destroyed, but they are surrounding that Jaguar 1A3. And there we go. We have put the flag up over that location. Enemies paid us back by killing two. Two T-55s, it looks like. There we go, guys. Actually wiped out another one of those uh, recce vehicles. Just kind of, like, drove right through it. Maybe even got the enemy to surrender there. But they are just running all through the forest. And they're getting pretty damn good hits. We're just going to have to charge in there and be very aggressive. That's, like, pure close combat right there. Pure MRBs. We need some men to get some RPGs up there, damn it. And there's the counter-battery fire. That's what I've been waiting for, guys. We needed that counter-battery fire. That might actually knock some of them out. And what I'm going to do is I am going to target him, of course. So we would have to get that guy a bit closer, but we can get some SPA rounds off. Which is devastating, of course. See, this is why Agrippa needs a new mouse. I really do. Um, okay, let's go. So we're going to barrage. And we are going to neutralize. So I'm going to commit to that. All right. Okay. We're already firing rounds over there with him. And actually, I don't see any resistance here. So we're going to move hastily into that position. Of course, it's going to be a screen. And since this unit is constantly being hit, I'm simply going to hold with him. Um, with this unit, I am going to move hastily towards the enemy position of course with a screen same with these guys we're going to move hastily into that position we are going to overwhelm the enemy here i don't believe they have a single other victory point except for the ones we see here um, and plenty of our other units are already on the move so i am going to keep it that way i'm going to hold with that unit um the veteran recce unit so hopefully they can get some instant shots on the enemy and it looks like we even need to get our um mortars closer so we're going to push them up to this location screen on the way of course and i think i'm going to call it there there's not much we have to do going forward here because we're kind of in the positions we want there we go took out one of them and higher command okay the enemy has suffered losses and withdrawals exceeding 70 percent and is reorganizing on the battlefield hq orders you to hold position and wait for the orders the battle could be over um so there we go guys it's a contested result of the battle ends now I am going to continue fighting. I think we have to continue fighting. We've got to try and take that last position. But I love that, that you have a chance of ending the battle early um, and taking that particular result. That's pretty awesome. 70% um, of the enemy destroyed. They're, they're not an effective fighting force anymore. But we lost a lot of units just to take out a few NATO units. So it was a tremendous amount of sacrifice to come out with the victory here. And there we go. That artillery continues to strike. There no need for it, of course, since the enemy is destroyed. But might as well make sure.
there we go and actually they do still have a unit there we're still hitting them with 30 rounds in the area I don't really believe the result could be contested um, if we take every single one of the victory points. However, um, again, the amount of actual units lost over there by Rothenbach. Look to the west of that. Look to the west of Brandt. Just a ton of IFBs, APCs, etc. It's pretty impressive, I have to say, um, the amount of NATO firepower. And, I mean, don't even get me started on the town of Markovitz. It's getting hit by mortars right now. The whole town has been devastated. There's that one town, if anybody can name it in the comments, which I think is completely wiped out. It's right there. Completely wiped out. Um, at least north of the bridge, every single building has been destroyed. So far, so good. Um, don't see any more NATO forces at all on the map right now. So at this point, I almost think like any movement going forward would be related to security, um, to securing these areas. So we'll like move these guys deliberately into position. Um, we will move these guys into position as well. In fact, let me just go ahead and take that recce unit, get into Markovitz, just in case the enemy did try something like a counterattack. I don't think they're going to, but you might as well be, be safer than sorry, right? So let's go ahead, get started, proceed. Oh boy, all right, we're still taking some shots, not good. Still taking some arty, and actually destroyed an 82 millimeter mortar. These are all on the ground mortars, of course. But it looks like NATO may be still putting up a bit of a fight. Um, those are, yep, those are air units. Those are airstrikes. If I'm not mistaken, at least I hear what sounds like air units. By the way, that's that town, again, that I asked you guys to mention. Um, just getting hit so badly, and now the southern part of the town is getting hit, too. And look at that. See, that's why I moved the units back. We can still see an enemy unit in Markovitz. They are still trying to counterattack and retake. I mean, they are sneaky, man. So, of course, it's important to keep on pushing the units through. Uh, we'll take this guy. We're going to just have him kind of move hastily to the edge of town and have him hold there. Um, as for these guys, move hastily right there to the point, have him hold as well. And I am just going to go ahead and push these tanks through to the position as well. A bit of a victory push, as it were, but on the way, they're going to be screening. So they're going to be looking for any enemy uh, contacts whatsoever. Do the same with these tanks, just getting them out there on the edge of town so that they are especially effective. Oh no, Soviet attack dog is about to go in three, two, one. Yep, the neighbors have arrived. And uh, that's what Bullet does. He just likes to bark at everybody. All right, um, so here we go. Let's see. Bullet, please. Bullet, Daisha. Um, so here we go, guys. We've got another strike directly on that veteran infantry company. Yep, it's directly on them, which is a shame. These guys have fought extremely well. And I'm starting to believe that that marker with the arrow next to it denotes just any infantry company. I was thinking maybe it was like a rank up, but it could just be any infantry company. And yep, there we go. Enemy is heavily bombarding that area. Just heavily bombarding market bits. They won't give it rest, but I'm sure they'll blame it on us. And that's our SPA. That's actually our artillery right there. Um, just targeting the area, um, trying to hit anything that moves in that particular sector. And that's going to be an enemy down. Fantastic. I think at this point, it really is just a hold on at this point until relieved. Still trying to knock out some tanks, of course. 
And again, that's our SPA striking at that location. So uh, some friendly fire there. Just really trying to make sure that there is nothing there at the market bits area. And unfortunately, the civilian population is the one that has to pay. Definitely the sound of a destroyed unit. While all this is going on, of course, that tank company is just, just driving through the streets of the city a few blocks over uh, from where that massive SPA barrage is happening. And that might be a direct fire from our own artillery on our tanks. I think it almost certainly is. It's dangerous over here in Market Bits, boys. That's simple. Let's take a look here at options. Go check out Richard York. There you go. <laughs> nice guy. Um, so let me just make sure. I want to make sure these guys are not firing anymore. SPA, SPA, SPA. Just simply on call. On call. It's under FSCC staff control, so I think it's actually sort of AI control over this particular unit. They are still targeting that location. Like through such a sacrifice, we must have proved ourselves here to the Soviets. Just losing so many men in an effort to take a tiny piece of territory. This has to be it, guys. Really not going to be doing too many more movements. Um, I guess I can move some of these infantry units out here um, I could even go and search for enemy units in the woods so let's do that we're going to just take these guys and move hastily through the woods like and I mean through the woods like really um, searching this area in a deliberate move with our tanks let's do that What did I tell you guys? If you go looking, you're going to find it. And sure enough, there is enemy, more enemy Jaguar units there uh, in the woods. Still putting up a fight, of course. And of course, it is... We're going to go ahead and deliver a barrage. Some suppressing fire, perhaps. Just go ahead and commit to that. And we're going to try to head right into that position. So a true assault here, a true Soviet assault. Um, just massive infantry pushes. They're trying to hit our units before we even get there. And that's actually our artillery just kind of missing slightly and hitting our units instead. And man, is that devastating. Nine of our BMPs destroyed. This is a true Soviet push in every sense of the word. We're not even waiting for our infantry to get into position. Uh, but that is a mistaken shot. There's not much we can do about it. Some uh, headquarters officers will be going to Siberia for sure. There we go. All right, so maybe it wasn't ours because um, we are striking with an SPA barrage there. Hmm. I think some of the uh, more veteran players can, can let us know what occurred. 
But one of these commanders is being shot if they had anything to do with it, that's for sure. That was brutal. And even just the suppressing fire there um, is pretty devastating. Just make sure here. What I want to check is I want to make sure we're not going over um, the actual length of this scenario. And I believe we can go ahead and end game now. Suffered a marginal loss. And the reason this probably is, is because of the heavy losses here. Um, and again, I'm a newbie, a huge newbie at um, Flashpoint campaigns. I am loving this game, but I definitely want to try again. So there we go. Uh, we'll take a look at victory and status conditions. We actually should have ended before we would have gotten a marginal uh, or contested result. Uh, which is quite interesting. And I think that would have allowed us to proceed with the campaign. So let's push forward here. Um, we are going to start the next campaign scenario. And that's right. I'm pretty sure that you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, so this is going to be called Gaining Speed at Chemnoth. And if you want our campaign to continue, um, then let us know, guys. We will go ahead and get it started. This is the Gaining Speed scenario. We are seven hours to accomplish the mission. And it looks like a lot of our forces are surrounded here. So it actually, it does a good representation of our battle just then. It's like we pushed into the area. However, the enemy managed to get behind us because of the lack of forces here. And you could tell that this is one of those fights that's just going to be an absolute bloodbath. Surrounded by the enemy, we need to try and fight our way out um, if we want to survive. Well, if you guys want to see that next part of the campaign, you know what you got to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much.